treat for you guys. These nerds right here. Um, sorry about the finger. I'm trying to be discreet. But these nerds right here are all loaded up. Look at this. Look how pathetic these guys are. You got 20 people, unemployed mofos, um, who are lazy as hell, I'm assuming, and have time to come and wait here. They've been waiting here for the last 30 minutes. Freaking nerds. This is why cards don't happen. What is up, guys? It's Living With LT. I am your host. How are you guys? Hope your week is going well. My Dodgers are now advancing to the next round. Super stuff for them. And my Lakers tonight. Uh, hopefully we'll close out and get their 17th championship. So I'm really excited for sports today. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank all my little subscribers to staying loyal to the channel, of course. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe below. As promised, here is a searching video. Um, I'm gonna go to a bunch of retailers. I have today off, obviously. So today I'm gonna go and check out a bunch of places, Wally Worlds, Targets, Big Lots if I can, Party City. I'm gonna go all over the place today. So uh, budget's gonna be a hundred bucks today. If you saw my previous video, as you can see, that was the other day. Um, I went in and tried to do a restock and a bunch of those loser flippers uh, were in there. So hope you guys enjoyed that part. And I'm gonna go into my take at the very end of this video on what I think about how the card community is going Going and how it's affecting retail and whatnot. So let's get started. Card searching. The infamous Wally World that I absolutely hate, despise going. Um, pretty early morning. So if there was cards earlier, they would have probably already been taken. But you never know in this market. I always take the chance. So we'll see what we got over here. So let's see if it's my favorite Japanese lady. She's always here. Putting me a check. Yep, there she is. So we have Pokemon. Shout out to Big Mike. And this is what we have. You can see in WWE. Here's the garbage. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at what we have here. So we got some score right here. So I might pick up some of these scores right here. And here's the garbage as usual. This pack sucks. I'm surprised to see a heritage. Look at this. I have one at home. So there's some stuff at Walmart, but I think I'll pick up a couple of these. All right, let's see what I do. So to stay on budget today, I'm gonna pick up one of these clearance packs and then I'm gonna pick up one of these 2019 scores. And as you can see right here, here's the garbage of Alan Ginter. NASCAR, I don't even know who collects NASCAR. Hockey and a bunch of these boxes, which I bought one of the other ones from Target. It was a $29 box that had a little tin foil thing. So taking my chance with hockey and trying to see if I can pick up some uh, lightning since they won the Stanley Cup and of course WWE and right here clearance packs of 2019 so you got to really be strategic when you're looking around but we'll see I think today's gonna be a good day all right on to the next door oh my good luck target let's see what we got so no losers, no flippers over here from what I see. But of course they took everything. So I don't know if the card guy is coming to this target today. But let's see, let's see. Let's see what we got. As you can see, no dice. Nothing good. So if you're into hockey. There's OPG. So I know they're a pretty good brand, but I'm not buying any more hockey. And you can see the same crap is all over the place. In fact, I think this has been sitting here for the last month and a half. And one lonely guy. I might pick this up just to see what's in the value pack. I think I'm gonna do it. YOLO, why not? So I'm still in the same target. 
So I'm gonna get the value pack. And I talked to a nice lady, she has a vendor, does just the cards, by the way. Here's all the Pokemon stuff. I know some of you guys collect this stuff, so this is what's over at my Target. But I talked to the lady and she was really nice and she just said, we just agree these guys who are flipping and sitting here waiting are losers. Yeah, I said you guys are losers, you're vultures, because you have nothing better to do and you're unemployed, living at home, probably virgins. And it's just funny, I call these guys out all the time and I, I'll show my MMA record and they'll sit there like, oh, you're making the other stuff. And I'm like, I can kick your ass, dude. So anyways, um, it's pretty funny watching that. All right, on to the next one. So there was a cool person over at the other Target who's a Pokemon collector and told me to try out this Target. So to all you flippers and douches that say that I just do this, I'm just like all the other guys. I spend an average of five minutes in a store and I get out because I have a job, I have a family to provide for. I have other things that I do with my time and I move my money around, okay? It's not just about cards. So, anywho, let's see what we got over here. Nice, so this is the first target I've seen. Look at that. That's beautiful right there. This is the first target I've seen with this sign. And as you can see, the vultures have gotten everything else. So it's literally hockey. And all the useless stuff here. But if you're into Pokemon, I guess this is what people collect. But as you can see here, completely dissected. So I'm still gonna go look at the other stores, but you can completely see it's out. So people who are losers come in and take everything, as you can see right there. So no fun for the hobby, but this is the reality, guys. I'm gonna check the other card section. Oh look, so I had this one as well. So right there and right there. So I'm gonna go check the other section and I'm gonna see if there's uh, anything left. Sometimes they go into the toy section and they find stuff. So it's funny, so there's this fat Asian dude standing over there looking like a loser and he um, was looking at me funny because obviously I was trashing him and it was pretty funny because these guys, once again, they don't know what to do in confrontation because they're losers. Yeah, I keep calling you guys losers, I know, I know. So I expect to get dislikes in this video, but if you have a problem with me, please email me and message me and we can set up a time. It's cool, it's that easy guys. So as you can tell, I'm frustrated with it, but this is the name of the game. So we'll see what's over here with the card section. So a bunch of different little toys. Picked up my son something earlier. And this dog is really nice. So you can see right here, I don't think they have a card section from what I see over here. So no cards looks like. Okay, on to the next door. Driving around, enjoying this day off. Nice little gloomy in Southern California. I'm gonna go get adjusted. Yes, I see a chiropractor regularly. Take care of the body, right? Part of being a fighter, athlete. Um, have to take care of the body, of course. So, I'm gonna go and uh, get adjusted. And then I'll see you, uh, I'll take you show you guys where I go to lunch. This Target is close to my house. And they don't ever stock cards. I'm gonna talk to the guy, but it looks like now they're starting to stock cards. Um, so that's a good sign. Cause you can see right there, these are all taken. So now I know this one has it, but that's a good sign. So they start, they must've started carrying it. Um, you can see it's fully loaded right here. And then on the toy section, I'll cover the toy section to show you guys. This was a good sign for cards because one over her. So right here, this is the other section. More Pokemon. 
and then check this out. So now I know this target should be carrying some. So I'm gonna ask the guy. Shout out to my boy Hawaii and all my island brothers out there and sisters. Lunchtime is pokey at one of my favorite spots in the whole entire world. Clean green tea. Did legs yesterday, so I was just stuck with the brown rice, mango tuna pokey, spicy ginger, or I think it's regular ginger actually, and then the oyster sauce, the seaweed salad. Aloha! So, I didn't show you the outside, but this is one of the more ghetto Walmarts in the area. And I've driven all around Long Beach, LA County, and looking for parts. So all you people in your soft areas know the struggle sometimes in these areas you gotta go into. You know your audience. So, I'm gonna look here. I don't know if this Wally World has cards because I've never uh, been to this one. So we'll see what kind of luck we have. Today, we're going around the cashiers and seeing what we got up in her. Don't think they have cards. So I'm gonna look around. So this is the area that they have. Pokemon magic once again and you have these deals which are garbage scorecards so I'm gonna check the other Wally world but as you can see this one has nothing all right on to the next one oh the infamous Wally world so this one I've been before and look at that. I missed it. So the, look at this. They actually carry mosaic. This is crazy. They actually carry it here. Um, so I'm going to try the other target earlier. I'm going to call back and see if they have anything available. But check this out. More garbage. So that's a good sign. They have the boxes at least. You can see. All the crap they have here. All the food snacks. And you can kind of see all the Pokemon. And magic cards. Dang, I missed the mosaic. So that's cool they had that though. Look at that. Probably will never see that again. All right, on to the next door. So, called the Target at that one place near my house, and uh, they're actually stocking right now, so I'm gonna try to head over and see what I can get left, and they told me there's a large, large crowd, so wish me luck, we'll see. Okay, I ran over. Did a leg workout yesterday, so a little sore, but still have my speed, so went over from the parking lot to the spot I was at and drove as fast as I could legally in California to my spot so we'll see if there's any luck catch my breath so I gotta see this I guess there's a crowd of people already forming See how this works. Unless they already took it all. What? There's actually cards. Look at this. Look at this. There's actually cards. There's actually cards. Look at this. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Look at this. This is crazy. This is nuts, guys. Okay, so 
Rule of thumb, I'm gonna grab one. I'm gonna leave one behind. Here's the garbage, once again. Look at this, this is so cool. So you have Chronicles. You have a Charlie Hustle. I'm gonna look at these ones, take a look and decide what I'm gonna get. And look at this. What the heck is this? Look at that. I've never seen this in my life. This many cards left over. Patience pays off, gentlemen, ladies. All right, today's a good day. All right, so I made my decision. I'm gonna get this hanger pack and I'm gonna get this Chronicles pack. And look what I got. So the guy there was cool. Um, I've been to other targets and they've seen me around trying to look for cards and the guy's like, look, do you have $10 cash? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I'll let you have this right now. Just give me $10 cash so you can go pay this out. And I was like, okay. And the guy's like, dude, take it. So today was a good day, guys. And this is it for ripping. I mean, uh, purchasing cards. Pretty happy today. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the rip. Alrighty guys, what is up fam? It's your boy living with LT, one glove of course. Uh, thank you so much guys for going into the journey. Just want to get everything going on right here. I'm going to show you the prices and everything. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe below. And guys, I just want to do some disclosures here. Okay, I'm a nice person guys. I'm going to tell you what. And I'm very straightforward. I've been through a lot of crap in my life. Uh, a lot of turmoil in this past year. And I stand up for people. Okay. I am a mixed martial arts fighter, as I mentioned. I'm military, and I'm also a college student. I'm also a family man. Uh, I enjoy this hobby. I love the people who I've met along the way here. And to see grown men, regardless of their intentions, to push kids out, and even women sometimes, is freaking pathetic. And I will kick some ass. I, I'm not even kidding you because I've not personally witnessed that stuff, but I've heard tons of stories from people who go genuinely to get carts. And so to the losers out there who go out their way, unemployed, whatever, if you're actually collecting cards, giving them back and whatnot, and not trying to do double, triple the price, then cool. But the other pieces of crap out there, which I've ran into a couple of times, you can tell off the bat, you can just tell they're shady in their nature and whatnot. And so, yeah, I get it. It's capitalism, right? I get it. I'm a business major. Um, and learning about money and whatnot, I, I understand in that regard. For me personally, I just can't do it. I, I just love this hobby. I like what it does. You know, my, my son, I want to participate and whatnot. And it's just quite frustrating with, with everything going on. But I just want to get that little off my chest. Uh, it's just frustrating as heck. But nevertheless, guys, let's go back into order of what went down today so i'm pretty tired so i got back cleaned up the house i'm gonna go take care of my uh, pick up my son a bit obviously i've dropped this video um and the lakers play tonight so very very excited so in chronological order i didn't get to share this one but i paid uh 30 bucks for this one so i went over technically over my hundred dollar uh, range but all retail um so sorry about the camera angle so this is a hundred bucks series one i'm gonna bank on the fact i'm gonna open this up another day but to the hockey people out there, I, because I have a few hockey people in my channel, I want to open that up and show them that I do have appreciation for the sport, even being a Kings fan. Uh, I'm going to be looking for rookie cards and looking for Tampa Bay Lightning, of course. So that's what I uh, plan on doing for the hockey portion. Okay, so in order, in, order, um, in one of the targets that I went to uh, before, I have all my receipts right here. So sorry about this beat up receipt right here. This is what I paid for that Allen and Ginter pack. So this is the value pack. So it has an exclusive Allen Ginter pack plus an exclusive gold parallel. And I believe you can find autographs and stuff in here. And I was like, you know what? As much as I bashed this pack, it was the last one left. I'm gonna take my chance. I've had great luck in baseball. And this is exclusively to my baseball people that I'm gonna be opening up all baseball today for you guys. Um, and actually I will open up a football pack too. Why not? Because uh, when I was at the Wally World, I got something for my son, as you can see right there. I got him a little Paw Patrol deal. And I got the scorecard. Uh, so I paid, looks like I paid 548. So it obviously wasn't clearance, but 2019. 
and uh, there's a couple of packs at other Walmarts. Obviously, I didn't decide to get. There was a lot. If you saw that Walmart I was at, and score is the lowest, lowest end of the football cards. But hey, you never know what you can get, right? So took that chance. And the clearance one, you've seen me open these ones up before. The ones I got from the Party City, I paid for clearance. You can see right there, 448. Not not expecting very much with this, but nevertheless, I love ripping. So that's always the fun part about it. So right there off the retail price, uh, I've already gotten approximately uh, $45 right there. And here it is, the final grand total. So I went over just a little bit of my 100 budget. Um, so putting these cards right here, if you see in order, you saw that I left one hanger pack back, okay? Uh, so hopefully it went to a good home and not getting flipped. But I paid $10 for the hanger pack right here. So I'm gonna open this one up uh, separately for this hanger pack, hopefully it's good luck. And I always want to open these up even though they're not affiliated because Topps is the official supplier for MLB. But Chronicles, you can see basketball, virtually impossible to get. And baseball, I said YOLO, Dustin Mays on there, Jordan Alvarez. My Dodgers are close to getting to the World Series again. Um, so I said, you know what? You saw how many packs there were. I think there was like four or five packs left in the video. And I said, you know what? Let's try it out. So I'll be opening this one up as well. Very excited about that one. Um, a lot of Dodger stuff, hopefully for the PC and hope I get some good autographs along the way. But here's the granddaddy of them all. This is where, oops, sorry about that. See, I got so excited with the camera angle. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the granddaddy of them all, I paid retail price, technically, okay. I paid 40 bucks and this box will go over easily. People will double this price, triple the price. So $40, um, the guy was cool. Uh, kind of a dick in the first end. I gave him $10. He said, I'll give it to you right now. Um, it seems like you've been struggling, um, you know, trying to find cards. And I just asked, I was like, oh, okay, you know, can I get it for 10? You know, I, I, I didn't understand because I was just like trying to rush over to get to the thing. He's like, dude, I, I haven't even bought this yet, man. I'm telling you, I'll give you $10. Give me $10 and I'll give you this box right now. And I just want good karma to go around. So essentially I paid $50 for this box. Nevertheless, I can't wait to open this one up with exclusive autographs. I'm glad that I didn't pay $100 for this. It could have been way worse, um, and I'm just stoked about it. So, um, very interesting day, a lot, a lot of tension and whatnot, and I can see now what it's like in chasing on an off day, on my off day, okay? So you guys out there trying to give me crap. Um, I, I got the cards, and uh, I can't wait to rip these ones for you, but um, guys, understand that retail does not come easy there's a lot of work that gets put into it. See? My, my, my phone keeps falling apart so sorry about that guys and um anyways yeah let's get started see i can't even hold this freaking stand my bad guys see what a day um i'll open up the baseball cards uh in order in that score one and we'll see what we get stay tuned all right guys got my lucky laker hat going on ever since i've been wearing this hat they've been winning even though with the exception of the one loss um, I really do think my Lakers, by the time you guys have watched this, hopefully they've clinched the championship uh, whenever I produce this video. So um, let's go in order. So we're going to go with Alan Ginter, absolute trash, one of my favorites, uh, not fun to rip. But uh, once again, I will try this one um, at the retail price. So $10 again, like I said, I paid for. And then I got this uh, 2019 tops one for five bucks approximately 488 and then the score one right here so we'll do football last and then we'll open up this uh well, we'll start the alligator so um man what a day guys uh alligator so as you see right there you got the gold parallel and the three packs right there and uh if you want to pause that go ahead but um i'm starting to notice you can start meeting cool people along the way uh, you can obviously kind of tell uh, as you do this more, you see who the ones are genuinely about the hobby. They they really care about it, and ones who absolutely just they're they're just assholes about it, and they're just about making the money and flipping it um, for the prices and not actually collecting it. So I don't know. I've been going back and forth all day today, and I'm sure a lot of my subscribers and different people I've in the community, um, you know, going over this stuff. But nevertheless, let's go on a positive note right here. So we got Alan Ginter right here. And uh, you guys can go ahead and pop that right there. Boom. And let's get going. So I've seen in a few forums that people have had success with A&G uh, autographs and some crazy one-on-ones or, you know, 
ones of 20s or whatever the case may be. And some of these cards I've noticed don't even have actual players in them. They're just like celebrities and stuff. So let's see if we get any rookie cards. So we have uh, Kane. So don't go by first name here. Uh, San Sano. Uh, McGriff. So this is a means. These little cards are so strange to me. Oh look, I got a tower. And this guy. You know, I'm gonna something. So that's trash already. Like I said, these cards, I don't know why people like them, but I've, I've, I've read, I've, I've gone and watched enough videos and forums to see that people are not fans of these cards and it's quite obvious why. So nice. So we got a Mike Trout card. Okay. So I'll definitely hold on to that to the PC. Okay. So this guy, though, is not a baseball player. So Steven Teff, so he's a tattoo guy. All right, so this is kind of like the Goodwin Chronicles, I think it's called, or Goodwin something from Upper Deck, where they have random people. This is kind of, this is what it reminds me of. Okay, so we have uh, Wong, okay, and we have uh, Myris. I don't know if people buy these little cards. Um, silver, and you should already know what's going to happen with that. Trash. All right, last but not least. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we have McManon. Ooh, what is this? What is this? It's a backwards. Okay, so it's a Cincinnati Reds Gray game use memorabilia. I don't think this is a rookie, Sony Gray. Let me know in the comments below, so it's a relic card, if this guy's any good. So, that's cool. So I got something right here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We have a Musio. Ooh, a debut to remember, Ken Griffey Jr. So I'm assuming that people, the Ken Griffey fans, would like this. And we have a right. Okay. So I'm going to tell you right here, all these cards right here, I'm just going to give to my son so he plays with them and beats them up and does whatever because I told you I don't care for these cards. But um, I think I got something good. And we have an asterisk rookie card, Eucrity, which I will hold on to. I'm not going to rip up. Uh, Gramiro Sr. And we have a Mercado of the Cleveland Indians. So I don't know if those cards have any value, but those are going to my son tonight. So you can go and play around them and get used to cards. So there we go. So I'll put those over there to the side. And what do we got in here? So clearance. So we're looking for, I guess, the one exclusive Ronald Cooner Jr. highlights. Um, I can't remember. I, I know it because I've ripped so many different cards. I can't remember. You can pause right there. If there's a specific person we're looking for. Um, I can't remember the set. But I know that I pulled a pretty big asterisk, Astro guy, uh, rookie card. I think his name is Kyle something. I can't remember. Um, so let's see right here. So we have a Knicks Jacob of the Padres. And keep in mind, this is 2019, so we're not in 2020. I've been doing that a lot. So Kyle Scherber, uh, Mitch Moreland, something Trevor, Shoei Otani, Gold Cup, uh, Chris Bryant, Billy Hamilton. So another rookie card of Cole Stewart, Allen, Kobe, Nationals. I don't know what this is. Javier Baez. Make sure I look in the back for the, um, the serial numbers. Zach Goodley, Bradley Jr., Santana. So here's a rookie card, Low, Low, Brandon Lowe. So I guess here's that exclusive highlights card that, that they were talking about for Ronald Cooney Jr. So the Braves will actually be playing my Dodgers. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be uh, some good worth. Uh, Travis Shaw, I think it's an 85 something. Okay, so I don't know. That's that looks like it's a cool card. And what's this? It's a this now. It's a rookie card. Tops now. Juan Soto. This is a rookie card. Interesting. So tops now. So Oxley is only enjoyed it in moments. Tops now. I don't know what this is, but I have to look at this later. Is this like a rookie card or something? So it's really strange. Okay, so we have a gold cup here. Ben uh, Harrison. Uh, something Crawford. JD Martinez. 
Gleber Torres Gold Cup, Joey Gallo, uh, Will Smith, not my Will Smith on the Dodgers, Johnny Sinto, Christian Villaneva, Dan Straley, Aaron Nola, Justin Bohr, uh, Blake Tremin, Trennan, Eric Hosmer, Ryan Sealy, or Ryan Healy, sorry, and Shane Green. Okay, so these cards right here, because I have so many, I'm just going to donate and give to somebody because I just have no more room anymore. But I just went to the rookies and the gold cups, um, as you can see right there. So I hope I didn't miss anything. So I'll go back to that one after this. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe below. Appreciate the support, guys, as always. And here's the scorecard. Um, I forgot to open that up once again, but remember, this is 2019. Uh, Kyle, not Kyle, uh, Kyler Murray is a big one we're looking for. Daniel Jones before, you know, he was good. I guess he sucks now. Josh Allen and Nick Bolsa. I think the big names that we're going to be looking for. So here we go. Anthony Hitchens, Marcus Mariota, Royce Freeman, CJ Millies. They have this classic look. I like this. It's kind of cool. Antonio Gates. I love Gates. Carlos Denup. Josh Adams. Trent Burton. Kyle Van Noy. Khalil Mack. Isaiah Crowell. Trent Williams. Luke Williams. Marshawn Lattimore. Eric Armson. Shaq Thompson. John Johnson, nice. This is for the PC right here. That's our safety. I love him. Vic Peasley Jr., Chase Edmonds, Ezekiel Elliott, score. So it's a red score, it looks like. So we got ourselves a Terry Scary. Scary Terry. Nice. So rookie card right there. Uh, Kirk Cousins. He's been doing pretty, pretty well with... with uh, <laughs> look at who I got. Throwbacks, Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh god and that's cool Aaron Donald that's for the PC love my Aaron Donald and we got a Patty Mahomes nice scorecard okay not bad for five bucks okay I, I'm a big Patrick Mahomes fan and I'm holding on to all his cards that I get uh, Michael Thomas so this is cool they do a little, a little relics apparently here uh, Saquon Barkley these are kind of cool Brandon Cooks, throwbacks. Unfortunately, he didn't do too well with us. Marcus Mariota. Uh, Brady in, in his Patriots uniform in 2019. Uh, Rodney Anderson. Uh, Wesley Woodyard. Here's for those Patriot fans out there. The cheaters. Marquise Brown, a.k.a. Hollywood Brown. Patrick Lard, rookie card. Uh, Will Greamer. Emmanuel Hall. Javon Ferguson. Montez Sweat. And Jalen Moore. None of those rookies that I know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that rip and searching for retail. Uh, a lot more videos coming your guys' way with all the card boxes that you guys saw, saw that I carried. So very, very stoked about that. And as always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe below. Appreciate all the support, guys. And until then, have a great weekend. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And as always, live happy, live healthy, and live in harmony. It's your boy, LT. I'm out. Peace.